Hello guys, welcome to another tutorial. This time I'm going to build a winter base. This tutorial mainly uses base craft materials, but I'm going to be talking about what other materials you can be using. First, I'm going to use this uh, base and I'm going to use my PBA glue and just start gluing uh, normal uh, hardware store sand onto it. This uh, tutorial also actually started as uh, an experiment because I wanted to use it for my uh, Lord of the Rings miniatures and some of the uh, witches of the witch of the uh, Dark Eldar army that I'm trying to start, and you'll be seeing a tutorial for that soon. Uh, so some of the steps are a little bit uh, weird. You can take whatever you like from this tutorial or or just discard what you don't like uh, this is my way I decided to do it and I actually liked it at the end this is why I'm going to upload it and I hope you guys uh, like it too so you can see me here I just dumped the base on the uh, sand on a can of sand that I have laying around and uh, take the edges out with my fingers there you go just let it dry completely before starting to add any paint on it now I'm going to use use uh, rhinoxide and uh, thin it down quite a bit so that it just uh, spreads easily in the sand without uh, moving it too much and I'm very slowly adding the uh, paint over the whole base like this as you can see I'm barely touching the, uh, the base and the pigment, the paint, is just flowing straight in into it. I'm not really moving it around too much. Uh, this is gonna just get in all the cracks, all the uh, empty space and seal it in after it's uh, dry. Now that that is done, and it's all completely dry, I'm going to use Gorthor Brown. And I'm going to start uh, dry brushing all over the uh, the base with my large dry brush. Try to use your brush again as dry as you can with almost no paint on it, and just uh, go around the, the whole base dry brushing it. I choose to use a very dark brown look to my base to try to simulate a, I don't know, like kind of a woodland uh, scenery. Next, the second highlight going to use is uh, Bane Blade Brown. You can see it here. I'm going to repeat the last step, but maybe uh, dry brushing uh, just a little bit less area than the last. And uh, you can use it as you please. You can just dry brush it all over or however you feel comfortable. Many of the steps of this tutorial are uh, just a matter of uh, how do you like to your base to look. You can use as much uh, flock as you want, as much uh, snow as you want, and you can dry brush as much as you like, just as long as you're comfortable with it. The next step here, I'm going to use the PBA glue and start making some uh, little random uh, places where I'm going to use the flock, which comes in the winter kit from Basecrafts. And again, using it just as much as you please. Uh, this time I'm just using a little bit just to try it out but once the step is done I'm going to uh, just uh, change it and add a little more. This material is called fine turf and but you can use any kind of flock or green grass that you like.
this step just adds that much more depth to the base. When you see through the all of the uh, um, snow on the base and all of the things that I'm going to add, this stuff behind makes it look more organic and much more interesting to look at. Next step, I'm just uh, repeating the the last step before, and I'm going to use this uh, dead leaves from Basecrafts again. But you can use any kind of uh, woodland scenics or any kind of things that you find, uh, anything different like tufts or maybe uh, pieces of uh, wood or whatever you like to. Did you see fitting on on the base? Again, trying to be as random as possible. This material wasn't as easy to uh, put on the base, but I finally managed to do it. Uh, I'm going to seal it in afterwards so that it sticks. Now I'm going to use some of the snow flock and repeating the same step, just trying to uh, be very random. And just remember, you don't want to cover the whole base, or maybe you do. This to your to your liking and uh, yeah I'm just uh, coloring with my the PVA glue the, st the places that I want to be uh, snow and yeah actually one of the problems that I had with this uh, snow flock this is, was uh, very transparent when it dried it dried very uh, transparent and I didn't like it so I had to do something different afterwards and here I am uh, doing so. Just sprinkling the uh, the snow flock from to the base. Uh, I don't know exactly how other flocks would work from uh, maybe uh, the Games Workshop one or any other brand, but this is how it looks. It's not completely dry, but what I'm going to do now is to use matte varnish to, and thin it down with a little bit of water and what I'm going to do thin it enough so it goes on as in the first step and start sealing everything in as you can see these uh, dead leaves and and things that I added may not uh, really uh, stick very well they can fall off if you just scratch on it with your fingers so this step is really necessary to uh, really seal in all of the materials that I'm using. The, the drawback from this step is that the uh, sand will look very transparent at the end. Now I'm just sprinkling over the entire base a little bit more of uh, the flock while it's uh, still wet so that it gives a little bit of variation and randomness to the way the snow fell on the base. Next, with Abaddon Black, I'm going to color in the edges of the uh, base. You can use uh, brown or any color that you'd like for the, for the edges. I just like black. And yeah, this is the way I'm doing it. Next, because I found the flock very transparent at the end, it looked actually gray and brownish, I used this uh, material that was on the uh, Basecraft kit, which is the dip snow effect, and I'm just uh, putting, in, uh, putting it on top of the base. Trying to be as random as possible, and just uh, putting it on top of the places that, I, that, looks, that look more white than the rest of the base. And yeah, if you're having the same trouble, I don't know if other kind of flocks do the same thing, but if you're having trouble, just layer it until you find your, your, uh, you're comfortable with it. And uh, yeah, you can also use bicarbonate of soda, I think, to do this effect. Just mix it with a little bit of uh, PVA glue, and that's it. So this is my finished base. So I tried to figure out how it would look with my Dark Eldar at the end, and I'm actually very happy with the way it turned out. As you can see, maybe imagine how it would look in this base. I think it looks very interesting, very nice.
because it's very wide, I think it's a very good contrast for this kind of army I'm trying to make. The original idea was to use it with uh, with my uh, Lord of the Rings miniatures. So here's another example. And that's all. Thank you very much for watching. Leave your comments and questions on the comments below. And like, comment, and subscribe. And I'll see you later.